If you've been wanting a new construction home in Rough Hollow, I am here to tell you about a final opportunity with Weston Homes. And I'm gonna drop some information that the public doesn't know yet. So I wanna make sure you're the first to hear it so you can take advantage of the opportunities right now. And I wanna apologize also for the quality of this video because uh, normally I would bring a videographer out, but I just shot a bunch of clips on my cell phone because I wanted to get the message out as quickly as possible. So Rough Hollow is one of the most highly sought after communities on Lake Travis. It's part of Lake Travis ISD. And I actually did an entire um, full blown neighborhood tour of this community earlier. So definitely check this one out afterwards. It talks all about the amenities and all the great things that Rough Hollow has to offer. But for this video, I just wanna talk about what's uh, left in Weston Homes. What is their inventory and selection like? Because here's the thing, Rough Hollow is almost completely sold out. There's gonna be one last section of some very expensive homes that are probably gonna be in the multi-million dollar range. But right now you can still build with West End at about the 1.4 to 2 million or so range. So I wanna just talk more about those opportunities. So there's a section of the neighborhood called Las Brisas, and this section is going to be luxury estate size lots, and it's going to be built on by Weston Injuries Custom Homes. Now this is in the front of the community. If you're coming from Highway 71 and you turn in, you go just past Rough Hollow Elementary School, and then these homes are going to be kind of on the right-hand side. Now, what I love about these home sites is not only that they're larger sized lots, but they have some amazing views. There's several green belt opportunities. There's even some home sites that have views of Lake Travis. Now, of course, you're gonna pay more if you have an incredible view. So think about prices probably starting at the 1.4 million range, but obviously if you have a green belt and some other incredible views, your price is gonna go up from there. Now, the other thing to note is that the quality of the Weston home in this section, because it is the luxury estate lots, they have a lot of bells and whistles and upgrades that are gonna be standard features just kind of included with the home that you wouldn't typically find in some of the smaller um, lot sizes and different sections with Weston and Rough Hollow. So just expect like grand entrances, courtyards, casitas, outdoor fireplaces, entertainment areas, it's going to wow you when you see these homes. So for a while, the lots were just slim pickings. And I remember like a year or so ago, I was out looking with a client in that kind of low to mid million range. And the only choices we had were Newmark or Scott Felder Homes. And the only sites were like the leftover ones that no one had picked and they were right underneath those giant electrical towers. So when I first knew about this section, that was one of the things I wanted to go check out and see, okay, where are the towers in relationship to it? But the home sites that are left, you don't really have any views of those towers. And like I said, you can have some beautiful um, green belt views without the, the towers as an eyesore. So even more reason to come and be excited about these final lots. Now, Weston only has four homes right now that are listed on the MLS where the public can see them. And so here's the inside scoop that I wanna tell you about. You only see a slim fraction of what builders have available. So typically with Weston, they don't release um, homes to be sold until they are almost near completion. So they want the house like almost move-in ready and then they will put it on the MLS for people uh, to see and to come tour. But right now they are accepting contracts on homes as soon as they are released to construction. So once the home's already been permitted and they get approval that the permits are in and they start working on the, the form boards and the slabs, they are now letting you go in and put an offer on it. So I was able to secure a lot that my clients had been hoping for. Um, I had a family that was looking in this section. They wanted a huge house, about 5,000 square feet. They had narrowed it down to two floor plans from Weston that they really, really loved. And we got notice from the um, sales agent because I'd been keeping in communication with them that one of the floor plans was available. They're getting a Prescott floor plan, which is an incredibly beautiful home. I love the front exterior of it. 
This home, like I said, is at the form board stage, but we knew it was available. And so we rushed out there just to walk the lot, see how it was oriented. Um, what was it located next to? And my clients were happy with the lot. So we were able to go ahead and put an offer in and get the home under contract. Now, something you do need to know. So these are not going to be homes where you can like really change up the design or anything. These are still inventory homes. So you're not able to just go pick your lot and start picking the floor plan and choosing the color schemes. Weston is already selecting all those things. So the sales agent will just be told from the developer and the builder like, okay, here's you know, a couple new lots that have been permitted. Here's the different floor plans that are going on there. Now it could take months to get the permits back, but then once a permit's, you know, okayed, then it's like, all right, we get the signal, we can start construction. At that point is when you can do a contract. Now we were able to still talk about like, what are the design choices, look at the color schemes, look at all the interior features and structural upgrades that were chosen. Um, you might be able to tweak a couple little minor things here or there, but just don't expect to, you know, redraw plans or anything like that. You are buying an inventory home. But in this case, my clients were super happy with the color scheme and design the lot. And this was the floor plan that one of the ones they were really hoping for. So they're so excited by it. So if you want the same opportunity, what I would recommend is to contact me. Um, I can make an appointment for us to go out and look at the lots. First of all, see, you know, what lots are you most excited about? Find out what floor plans you like. They have, you know, all these floor plans are going to be big ones. They're going to be like around 5,000 square feet or so. So this is not like a 2,800 square foot home. These are estate size houses. So just think big. Um, but if that's what you're looking for, we just need to find out the floor plan and some potential lots that interest you. And then it's my job just to stay in constant contact with the sales agent so that I get the first dibs or the first notice of like, Hey, this one came on market. This one's available now, or this one's coming soon. It's all about just having really good communication and just staying ahead of the game. Now, in order to go under contract, you need to be prepared because the opportunities don't last long. And so what you would need to sign a contract is an earnest money deposit check, and it has to be a cashier's check. Weston is a little old school on how they do some of their policies. So you need to have a cashier's check. You also need to have a pre-approval letter from a lender. So let me talk a little bit more about that. So if you use Weston's preferred lender, your earnest money check is only $10,000. That's to hold the um, property and to go under contract that goes towards your down payment. Generally earnest money is not refundable with any builder. So just make sure you 100% love that lot and the floor plan. Don't expect refunds down the road. And then the second thing is if you don't go with Weston's preferred lender, then the earnest money goes up to $20,000. So it's just a little more skin in the game that you were, you know, putting up as risk. They feel safer if you've been, you know, vetted out with their own lender, but you do have the choice to work with a lender that you would prefer. So just have a cashier's check ready to go. Once you get the notice that yes, this is available. Um, and then the other thing is a pre-approval letter. Like I said, it, on this one, the letter you, it could be from any lender, but if you want to go with their preferred lender, then as quickly as possible, once you get the contract signed, just apply with that lender. Um, and then you can start that process there and you get some extra incentives. So let's talk about discounts and pricing right now. So normally if you have an inventory home and it's one of the ones on the MLS, I would expect that you can bargain a little bit, try to knock the price down or, or push a little harder to get a better price. If it's something off market though, and it's like we're getting down to the last few handfuls and you want to lock in the opportunity, Weston's not going to negotiate, you know, on the pricing very much. Um, their thought is, well, you'll just wait until the house is more completed and then we'll just put it on the market. You know, these are probably going to be completed in the springtime, about six to seven months from when they start the construction of the forms. 
So there's no real motivation for Weston to start slashing the prices on these off market homes. So expect to just pay whatever they're offering, but you can get incentives as far as like flex cash or some closing cost credit. So my clients got a really good amount of money, about $50,000 that they can use um, to cover closing costs or buy their rate down or just knock it off the price. Um, if they go with a, their preferred lender with Weston's lender, the lender will also pay the title policy. So that's just another incentive that can help knock down some of your closing costs. Now incentives always vary. This is just what the deal was right now. Um, and it can change month to month. They always, you know, can add incentives, take away incentives. So my clients though, were mostly excited that we were able to lock in this opportunity and it didn't get taken from them because if we had waited, you know, months, okay, let's just wait to see if it hits the MLS. I can swear that that home would have been gone and we never would have seen it. So that's what I want to share is that there's a lot of missed opportunities out there because builders don't always advertise anything, but I'm so happy I got my clients under contract. So if you want to do the same thing, just tell me what floor plans you are interested in. I'm happy to set up an appointment with you so we can go out there and actually tour some of the floor plans because there's several that exist that are some inventory homes are already under construction that we can walk through. Then we need to look at the site map and figure out which lots are mostly uh, the ones that you would, you know, favorite or be most excited about. And then it's just staying in constant communication with the sales agents. So that way I can get updates from them as soon as possible. Like, okay, do you have any of this available? Has there been any new home sites released? Are there any permits released? Do we know what's coming up? That's how we got our foot in the door and we're able to get that home under contract. So there's about 20 opportunities left and then that's it. So, um, you know, it's like I said, I think it's an incredible opportunity. If you have not gone out and seen these lots in person, definitely ask me and I would love to be your guide to help you, you know, find that last opportunity in rough hollow. If you have any questions, you can always contact me. My information is in the caption below and then check out the rough hollow tour. If you haven't seen the neighborhood yet.